Hello everyone, welcome back to part 4 of Jace Bellerin's story in Magic Duel's Origins. Uh, last time we defeated some Separatists to get some information, now Ahamoret wants us to get the other side's plans too, so he can judge who is right and who is wrong, I guess. But someone important is visiting the camp and it seems a little more tricky, so let's get it on and see what's going on in this camp. And here we go. Upgrade deck. Amprin Camp Soldier. Three lands. Turn one. Turn three and a turn. Oh yeah, this is a good hand. Better than last part. Jeez, couldn't get a good opening hand to save our life. Anyways, uh, again, early turns. Well, not anymore, but on early turns and things like that where I don't plan on attacking for button pushing sake, I'm going to be playing things on first main phase as opposed to second like you should anyways. Okay, player land. Uh, don't need to be turning the tide. We have turn three to the legend to turn four divination if we want and don't even get the mana we will attack looks like he'll be at least a white maybe white blue mage we're up against and that's it your old mana guy going to get some thing is this deck isn't very spell heavy for what we've seen so far glory seeker two for two two And, alright, land so we can have a, uh, let's see where to be. Definitely good, just go ahead, get this online. Before or after attack, doesn't matter. Get the fly and beats on. Can't block, take your damage. How much is it? Opponent. Oh, that was as long as we opponent. It's definitely a good thing we got our tutelage on. Yeah, we'll take two. That's all fine and dandy. Follow up. Whenever a creature with power two or less enters the battlefield, they want if you do draw a card. Aha. Uh -huh. White weenie. Yes. Tutelage him. We are now You know we gotta we get that guy on line he comes a blocker too. We could potentially do it off of this divination. So let's go ahead. Divinate. Ah, oh, divinate and divinate. Yep. Both triggers to him. All right, got four off of that trigger, and boom, we got a five-five. Uh, oh, we're gonna get in with them. We're taking four tops. It looks well. He could have a an aura spell or something, but right now it looks like only four. Next turn we have divination into turn the tide, which I think is much better than playing a three-three blocker. Especially with him. Enters the battlefield, reel the top four cards, put all soldiers into your hand. Alright. Now that's not good because it's drawing cards. Reveal your four. And you're getting one, two, three. Okay, so you're getting three cards out. Yes, tutelage him. Alright. Gonna drop you. Play the dragon. Uh, 
could play the Phantasmal Dragon. Means next turn we win. Unless he can target it with something or plays a flyer. I think. I think we just divinate. See what we draw. Both triggers there. Two more islands. Continue. Here's thing attack. Don't regret doing that because odds of him being able to kill us are slim to none. That's fine. We're just going to go ahead and play you now. We take no damage. You will get to play some. Are you, okay, you're going to play him. Are you going to draw? Yes. Play another. Other soldiers. Okay. Uh, did we done goof? on the board. Um, we do not attack. We play our dragon. So unless he can give them all plus two plus zero or plus two plus something. We block two, we win on the, re the swing back. That's fine. Unless you're trying to draw into a buff spell or life gain spell. Ooh, that wouldn't be good either. Swing with everyone, right? Yep, okay. Ah, uh, we gotta block. You and you take nine. Tutelage him and on the swing back. We'll go ahead and play that. Continue. Attack with all. Do you have something to target the dragon with? You do have gained seven life. Of course you do. Of course you do. Um. Okay. So we play you. You cost more and have first strike. Do you get more soldiers into your hand? Which I don't know if that hurts us. I think we have to bounce you. Yes. We also play you. You play him again, I assume. Yes, but he can't attack. 
we block your... Okay, so you get another one. But... Hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did they go to the bottom? Bottom of your library. Perfect. So that's three lands that we know now are not going to get tutelaged away. Uh, you block... Here and doesn't matter, you're gonna die unless I bought the one one, but I'd rather not. I'd rather get rid of your two twos. Or your two power creatures. Yep, target you. Think you can uh, still We attack with both of you, just in case he has gain life again. No blocks. Got him. All right. That was a close one. But Flyers saved the day again. We are close to milling him out as well. That was a, that was a close one. All right. You deal with the guards and find the general who's visiting the camp. You delve into his mind and see detailed battle plans. But then you go further. You read his memories and see a meeting with a shadowy informant. One with a familiar face. Yours. Uh-oh. Uh, we're going to figure out exactly what that means here in the final part. Let's see. After two years of training, you learn the truth. al Hamaret has been using you as a go-between, selling intel to both sides and wiping your memories regularly. He's even concealed your nature as a planeswalker. When you confront him, the Sphinx unleashes a devastating psychic attack. Well, tune in next time for the fifth and final part of Jace Bellerin's story as we seem to finally confront al Hamaret in an epic showdown to the death or at least until we are uh mine melted i guess see you next time